Welcome back everyone. In this video, let us get started with the three core concepts in Redux. Now, if I were to just explain the three concepts as they are, I don't think it would be easy for us to understand them. So what I want to do is first explain a real world scenario that we can all relate to. After understanding the scenario, it would be much easier for us to understand the three core concepts. All right, let's begin. The scenario I have chosen is that of a shop that sells cakes. We have all been to a cake shop at some point in our lives, so this should be straightforward to understand. Let's start with the entities. We have the shop itself that stores all the cakes on a shelf and keeps track of the count. Behind the counter, we have a shopkeeper. At the store entrance, we have a customer. Now what are the different activities that happen in this scenario? Let's assume that you are the customer. So one day you go to the shop with the intention of buying a cake. However, you're in the middle of a pandemic and ordering a cake is slightly different than before. There are no menu cards and instead you have to scan a QR code to place an order. You scan the QR code, select red velvet cake and place an order on your phone. It is important you remember this. You let the shopkeeper know that you want to buy a cake by placing an order. You never jump the counter yourself, take a cake, leave some money on the counter and exit the store. Sure, you could do that, but the shopkeeper is there to follow a process for you to purchase a cake. When you place an order, the shopkeeper, in response to that order, will check if the cake is on the shelf. If it is, he will box it for you, deduct a cake from his inventory and print out a receipt to keep track of the purchase. That will let him know why the number of cakes on the shelf has decreased. You then take the cake and go home. As you can see, it is a really simple scenario. Now, how does this scenario relate to Redux and the three core concepts? Let's take a look. The first concept is what is termed as the store in Redux. In our scenario, the shop safely holds all the cakes on the shelf and keep tracks of the total count. In Redux, the store safely holds the state of your application. The second concept is what is termed as an action in Redux. In our scenario, the customer placed an order for a cake. This event is known as an action in Redux. An action describes what happened. In our scenario, the action describes that an order has been placed and the number of cakes has to be reduced by one. The third and final concept is termed as a reducer. A reducer is what ties the store and actions together. In our scenario, the reducer is the shopkeeper. He receives the order from the customer, which is the action, and removes a cake from the shelf, which is the store. He will also track his inventory to handle future orders. These are the three core concepts in Redux. A store that holds the state of your application, an action that describes what happened in the application, and finally, a reducer which handles the action and describes how to update the state. Now you might still be struggling to get the big picture of Redux. That is simply because there is more to understand. So stick with me for a few more videos and I guarantee you will have a much better understanding of the Redux pattern. In the next video, let's take a look at the three fundamental principles of Redux.